In our last video, we went in search of the headwaters of the Mississippi River, and we found them at Itasca State Park. It was really crowded the afternoon we arrived when we went to see everything, but then the next morning we went, and there wasn't anybody there. It really pays to go to these parks early in the morning before the crowds hit. We enjoyed our second day very much. And now here's Mark. In this video, we tour an ore boat in Duluth, Minnesota. We spent a couple days in Duluth and this is one of the things that we did. Uh, there'll be more videos coming of our time in Duluth. Uh, enjoy! filming. Okay. We can tour the boat, honey. Is this an ore boat? In Duluth. There's the big bridge thing. <laughs> so this is like a small boat, right? Yeah, I guess. But this would be kind of like what your dad was this doing. Is, yeah. This is... This is what dad would be the pilot on. Okay, and the pilot means he sat up there where all those people are. Yep. So we have to go up there. Yep. And we gotta start back here. And did you call your cousin and tell her that we won't be there today? <laughs> no. Oh, here we go. So we bought tickets. Now we gotta wait 40 minutes. We gotta wait 40 minutes and then she's gonna call us. Some boats. And a ship. Yep. We're waiting. We're waiting. This is what we do. We don't do it very well. No. Nope. Waiting. Nope. Especially after about 20 minutes. <laughs> They just called us. Uh, so, a little bit of history here. We was built in 1938. Uh, it was the flagship of the U.S. Steel Great, Great Lakes uh, Fleet. So, this is where they brought the executives, the higher ups, the potential business partners to impress them. Oh, uh, this is a fancy one. Yes, it is. That's <laughs> why there's things like brass handrailings and stuff. Um, over here, these are. Uh, steam turbine engines. This was the first boat on the lakes to have such sort of engines. They ate one ton of coal every hour wow. to uh, get this boat moving, and the top speed for one ton of coal was uh, was 11 miles per hour. Wow! We're not skiing. But, yeah, it was honestly just super fast. Um, behind you are the steam turbines generators that made the electricity for the uh, ship. Then over here are all the monitoring units to make sure nothing was going to end in catastrophe or explode. Nice. That window room is the chief engineer's office. Uh, now, interesting place for an office as it is directly next to the loudest room in this boat. Sure. It's also one of the warmest. You get up to 120 degrees oh. in this room during the summer. Mm -hmm. Hence the salt tablets. Yeah, it's the salt <laughs> tablets. They have them in there. You gotta say, Somewhat salient. Over here, this is uh, the uh, this is a Chad Burn. There's another one up on the pilot uh, pilot house. So this black arrow is what the captain wants to do. This is what the engines are doing. If he moved his Chad Burn up to say stop, that meant 
we want the ship to stop. And you need, of course, to notify the engineers that we're stopping, and it would be very loud, so some bells would go off. <laughs> Until these would actually line up. line up. They would have to do the work on the engines to make them stop and then line them up. Mm -hmm. And even then, sometimes it was too quiet to hear, so that orange light would go off. Mm -hmm. oh. Any questions at all? How long did it take to stop if he said stop? Uh, just a, a good bit, just due to inertia. Mm -hmm. right. um, a full stop would probably take anywhere from like 25 to 45 minutes. Okay. Just to finally get a slow down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have to thank you so much. Yeah, it's, you're going to send you those two flights of stairs? Okay. It's pretty clean. Couple diesel engines. Oh. This is Aunt Elvis. No, Aunt Church. Aunt Church. <laughs> yeah. Spot. It says four, four crew members worked here. Big oven. Flat top. Food. <laughs> yeah, open that up in the summer. Some deep fry, coffee. Prep area or clean up? Clean up. Refrigeration. Yeah. Using ammonia. And then more modern. It's for the beer. That's where you keep the beer. Another breezeway. Where did you say you folks are from? Um, we're from Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, but my yeah. my whole my dad's family's from here, from Duluth. I think that just shut down. So where would they put these hatch covers when they took I them off? Oh, okay, I can see it. Yep, just right over. This is the first place to have the one-piece hatches. Each one weighs five and a half tons. Well, that's some rigging. 18 hatches, three cargo holes, and she carried 14,000 tons. Wow. You now, all these covers off in less than an hour. Now, my father-in-law said they were running empty one time. They had some girls on the boat from somewhere. Yeah. They played baseball down here. Yeah, we used to. In the to, empty yeah, uh, we used holds. We do that when my dad was captain and we went down there and played ball. Yeah. Yeah, when you it must have been a boat with guests. So the guests, they were pretty pampered. They did what they wanted. Oh, liked. yeah. Yeah, yeah, they weren't working. It's Thanks, cool. Guys. Thank you. Thank Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, carved. And then you'd have a galley. Would it be the same chef? No. Well, it wouldn't have to be, would right? Or maybe they brought one in with the people that were visiting.
So that was it. There must be crew quarters here then, right? Fancy schmancy, huh? Yeah, look at this. This is like a five-star hotel in here. Absolutely. And a bathtub and everything. Bathtub, toilet. Wow. Really fancy. Fireplace. Fireplace. Mm. Well, here's the controller for the fireplace. Oh. So it was an electric, low, off. electric fireplace. Yeah. Keep the bedroom warm, right? Notice how the deck is curved? Already, yeah. It's like the camper. <laughs> and a closet. Stairwell up. Another room on the other side. Same thing. Look at this beautiful woodwork. I think these balustrades exceed four inches. <laughs> Sure do. Wow, they really had a lot of guest rooms. U.S. Steel, honey. Yeah. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. So it's two beds, so that was how many crew cabins, or four so far? There's a covered patio. Is that right? Hello. I was long winded up there. She talks too much. <laughs> So instead of finding the people to get to, I just took a break. It's a good idea. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. There's it's a not nice breeze. Have to do any more anyways. The day's almost done for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, we get we get out here usually a little after five. We used to be open just six, and for a while in the in the summer, in the prime of summer, we'd be open till eight. Wow. Oh. So those were long days. The telephone that would go where? That was to call the passenger porter. Just like room service in the hotel. You wanted something, you tell the porter what you want, and he'd come up with it. So you had a guy? <laughs> yeah, you had your own cook and your own porter for the guests. Oh. So they had two guys just for the guests. Nice. So the cook for that cook for the guests did not wasn't the same cook for the crew. No, that was a separate cook. And the guests pretty much could eat what they want. They would tell the cook what they wanted pretty much. Yeah, and you, within limits, right? Right, right. Yeah. I think we sold a few of these. You guys are famous. Yeah? Who's our Thank famous? You. you guys. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to put you in. We're going to put you on YouTube. Oh, right. Uh, nobody can tell what we look like. Really. Right. That's why, you got, that's why I don't mind doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Not my first. <laughs> Have you looked at any of the other years? Yeah. I like the lamp. Look at it with the Great Lakes. Yeah. Can you name the Great Lakes? Well, yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's all burled oak. What, baby? It's all burled oak.
Go, do a selfie. Do a selfie. Take a good picture selfie. Shipyard all last year, brought it in uh, September. Last year, and yeah. then it opened this yeah. year. And, and it was neat. They only had 15 inches going through that blue bridge. Back yeah, there. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, because it's so unloaded? Because it's. Oh, that wide. blue bridge. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, Beth's dad was a wheelsman on uh, oar boats. Oh. During World War II. Uh -huh. In the 40s. So, so we've heard a lot of stories about them. I've never been on one before. So Excellent. Yeah, it's pretty special. Well, this, was, this one went through there at that time. Yeah, he wasn't on this boat. Oh. I don't know what boat he was on. We'll have to look it up. Yeah, I have his. I still have his uh, pilot's license. Oh. So. Well, this is, the, this is the spot you want to be, right up here. Yeah, nice I, don't, I like that spot, you know? <laughs> Especially in the summer. Yes. Not in the fall. Well, uh, it, it was heated. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> there you go. Running hot water, mm -hmm. up, uh, spraying it through the, the water hose. Oh, yeah, you got that, that was kind of nice, because those pipe hoses were nice and warm, and uh -huh. your hands would stay warm. But yeah, but you gotta wash out to the breeze, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is that what the pipes I see on the side of the ship are? Yeah. Or pie? Yep. That was for... Those were the, that's the fire line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. So they put hot water in those. So I noticed they were all plugged. So, which makes sense. Because you're not... You don't, don't need them now. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, we saw the other end of that. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Yep. Engine room. Stay safe. You too. Stay healthy. Yeah. Always. think of the ship tour? It was great. Much uh, better than a battleship. <laughs> uh, yeah, more more um, uh, relatable. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, the, you're not going down 10 decks and up 8 and over 6 and mm -hmm. <laughs> like our usual battleship tours. Right, right. So it was pretty, pretty cool. I was really impressed with the uh, the fit and finish of the guests. Yes. But like I said, it's like a five-star hotel on the boat. But you know, the the rich people that ran these companies—that was their. But where were you going? You're going from Duluth to where? Anywhere you want in the Great Lakes. Well, the ship—you didn't just take the ship out for a no, ride. No, but the ship went. Yeah, but where did it go? Between where and where, mostly. Um, some of them went as far as down to Chicago. Okay. The steel mills in Chicago. Okay. And then others went up. You know, through the Sulacs and out east mm -hmm. to Pennsylvania, even, you know, not 
actual Pennsylvania, but to the East Coast. Right. Wherever the steel mills were. So, you could go somewhere. Yeah. And, then, and I'm yeah. sure if U.S. Steel had hotels and whatever, mm -hmm. too, for their execs. Yeah. And then the trains, you know, the private trains would bring you here. The train right. goes right here. <laughs> yeah. so. And if you were getting whatever you wanted. Yeah. So that's what the guy said. The food was whatever they wanted to eat. So now we're just coming up here to the, the front end of the ship. The bow. The business end. But we can't go much farther than this. Because that's where the COVID is. <laughs> so we're not going to go over there. No, we're going to go get back in our car. Yep. And we're gone. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to go ride the train tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Train tomorrow? Train tomorrow. All right. <laughs> William A. Irvin. U.S. Steel. I'm sure U.S. Steel doesn't like the kids free over their U.S. Steel emblem, but... I'm not too happy with it either. <laughs> that's what it is. 